Hello fellow farmers and welcome to today's video. So the thumbnail for today's video may or may not have been clickbait, but it was 100% true, all facts. Answering the question of how or why did my neighbor's bagged leaves that were intended to go to the trash end up in my backyard? This is my backyard. These are my neighbor's bag leaves, not this neighbor, but the neighbor across the street. How did they end up in my backyard? They were bagged up and intended to go taken away for trash. And they ended up over my fence in my backyard. This is my backyard. How did it happen? Stay tuned to find out. Now you know the, I guess, why my neighbor's bagged leaves intended to go to the trash, taken out for the trash, why it was thrown over my fence, or for what purpose. So that's the purpose. It's to uh, give the chickens some free bedding. I've read two different views and perspectives, and one perspective says that uh, be careful with leaves because they can carry mold and and uh, which is an, an issue and they can irritate the respiratory system of the chickens or the tannins in the leaves aren't good because it makes the eggs taste weird or something like that. So I'm going to stop listening to two different opinions and I'm going to test it out on my own so I can get the experience of saying, well, in my own experience, this is what I found. So what I'm finding so far, because this is my second week with, with my neighbor's bag leaves, but bagged leaves, but like third or fourth week with leaves in there with the chickens in general. And what I found so far is that first off, as you just saw in the last clip, the chickens love it. They scratch through it. They find the bugs in it, they find the worms. You do need to make sure that you go through it and make sure there isn't any trash, as I found before that last, those last few clips. So do make sure there isn't any trash, make sure it's safe for your, your chickens. But for the most part, your leaves, in my experience so far, this is, like I said, so about a month in and no chickens have died. Eggs that I've tasted so far have tasted normal. No respiratory issues. Uh, and the chickens and I would think that if there was an issue that it would show up now mold is an issue and it'll be It'll be okay And if not if I do spot any mold on it, then I won't throw them that bag of leaves or I'll move them on That's the great thing about having a mobile coop or a chicken tractor is that you can move it to keep them on fresh ground on a regular basis so so that's so far it's working so far so good i found i have found nothing but benefits to it gives them some warm bedding although of course at nighttime they go up and roost as is their instinctual behavior so that way they feel safer but i would think it'd be warmer down in the leaves but i guess i'm not smarter than a chicken so it's working so that's the why so how they do it i did it i threw them I actually messaged my neighbor two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I saw that they were raking leaves and bagging them. I was really busy. I was running errands in and out of my house in my driveway that day. Didn't have time to go talk to them and say, hey, save your effort. Let me get your leaves. Um, and also bag does make it easier. I think it works so far. So anyways, didn't have a chance to stop and talk to them, uh, but messaged them later on and said, hey, um, 
if those leaves are going to the trash, then could I just come pick them up before the trash comes and and can I use them for my chickens? And they messaged back, said, sure, go for it. Do you want the little kiddie pool too? No, no, thank you. But my mom wanted one for her ducks. So I took the kiddie pool that was going to the trash. So saving some landfill space and repurposing it and reusing it, getting another life, which is great. It's all about sustainability. So mom gets the pink kiddie pool for her duck. It's a special needs duck. You might see it on my Instagram if you go check me out at Doral Creek Farm. You'll see it waddling around. That's the one. He can't get into a full-size kiddie pool, pool, but he can get into the smaller size one. So she's using that. My neighbor doesn't have as much common trash. I think it was 10 bags of leaves, 12 bags of leaves were taken out and will be repurposed and still return back to the soil locally and saving on saving me a money on having to buy bedding if if this works which so far it is so saving me money so that's how it's more profitable i mean when it gets really cold well, i'd probably buy hay or straw bales and put it up next to the edge to insulate it more yes that's from the future when it does get that cold or that much snow comes i will be prepared but it is now december and in my area in virginia we don't really worry about too much snow until February is the most likely month. It's also the coldest month. So December, we do get the occasional snow storm, but it's rarely, and if it is anything, it's maybe a few inches at the most, very rarely, but um, not much to worry about with that. Uh, but so far, so good. The chickens love it. I like it. So it's a good on practice. So for more profitable or thrifty, I guess you would say, backyard, micro, urban, suburban farming tips, subscribe. Click that down below. Uh, turn on notifications would be great for when I post a video every Friday. That's what I'm working on so far. Haven't decided which hour of the day. Don't have enough data yet or enough to see what's the best time. So, but anyways, sometime on Friday, turn on the, the uh, notifications so you can see when I do post and get these just chock full of just poly polyphony the opposite of monotone just harmonious voice and beautiful model-esque face uh, on your screen so you don't miss any minutes of it so turn on the, the on notifications and and uh, i'll see i'm sure you come here for the uh the smell of vision too because that smells great with all the backyard farming stuff too but turn on the notifications just click that bell and uh subscribe you know, like dislike give me a comment let me let me know you stop by if you have a video that shows otherwise then link it down below okay you give yourself a some views i'll go watch it if you have videos proving otherwise so link it down below let me know how you think it'll turn out with the uh leaves in there with the chickens comment that down below Hope everyone's having a great December. Anyways, until next time, thank you for stopping by. Be nice to each other.